elements is one thing that we we'll always have in racing. Some races will be freezing cold. Sometimes it'll be extremely hot. The race will still go on. When it gets cold, I think because I have more muscle, I don't get as cold as somebody that's very, very skinny. And in the heat, growing up in South Africa and stuff, uh, yeah, my body deals with the temperatures quite well. The thing is we don't have the cold, we don't have negative degrees. So uh, I've had to learn that. So the plan was to get a Dutch girlfriend that has very cold elements. I then use these elements to progress. No, I'm just kidding. I really remember when I learned to swim. One thing I didn't know is that I didn't really enjoy it. Pretty certain my parents tried to drown me and then that's how I learned to swim. I see the water as a competitor of mine. Something that I need to do every day, but I think the better I get, the better our relationship becomes. I had to learn to love water, which is one of my drawbacks in the sport. Uh, not being a good swimmer. The more you hate something, to do it is actually quite difficult. I mustn't be enemies with this thing. We have to be friends, we have to work together. And uh, that's how I can obviously progress in life and progress in sport. Preparation leading into races, especially for cold and hot conditions, is quite important. Uh, also like climatization of the temperatures. Temperature changes very hard in the body. Hydration during the race, before the race, after the race. I've had to learn the hard way from some bad races, not hydrating properly, and I thought, oh man, ended up in hospital. And I thought, oh, what did I do wrong? And so you kind of learn from experience a little bit about how to, to go against the elements.